Hey, how's it going? Um, if you're new here, check out the sticky comment. It's a link to this playlist. Basically, almost six weeks ago now, I was laid off on my birthday. So I'm documenting the process. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday, I only found um, one job to apply to, and I was rejected from two. I have not heard from any companies. Hundreds of applications now, and uh, zero requests for interview. That feels good. <laughs> Some drama with school. So one of my classes, the, the teachers are supposed to have this stuff available Sunday. So usually teachers are cool and put the stuff up like the Friday before. So yesterday, Monday afternoon, the teacher for the one class put the stuff up. And then I open the thing, and it's using Mac-only fonts, and 99% of us are Windows. So I immediately posted a comment on two of the places where you're supposed to, asking, you know, hey, what do we do? Because this stuff's due tonight, or uh, Wednesday at, at, at about midnight-ish. Uh, crickets. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have a day. And most of the people in the class are going to have a day or less once she actually replies. And that's a stupid class that I don't want to be doing. That's mandatory. And, yeah, that's fun. Um, cool thing, though. <clears throat> a little over a year ago, but a year and a half ago, I saw a crowdfunding campaign. I know, crowdfunding. Ugh. How many times have I been burnt? Oh, that's right. Uh, every single time. Except for this one. There was a crowdfunding campaign for ceramic keycaps. And I was like, oh, I wonder what those feel like. So I joined the crowdfunding and uh, they came yesterday. So I do have some complaints about them. So we'll, we'll tackle those first. Because they're ceramic, they're nowhere near as uniform as the plastic keycaps. They are very wonky. Uh, every single one's unique. They don't all sit correctly because the inside of the where like the plunger goes or whatever you call it is, is not a uniform thickness and depth so they all sit just a little weird but I kind of like it it kind of makes it look like a I don't know some rustic hack together thing what does bug me is the printing on the keys is nowhere near even so it's not so noticeable on most of the keys that I put on, except for the function keys. Uh, especially like F1 through F9. They're all at slightly different heights and just ever so slightly, but you immediately can tell by looking. But anyway, the reveal. So I've only done some of the keys so far. Like I did my 10 key, see the nice shine on them? And they feel so cool. They're whatever the ambient temperature is on like the plastic and they retain that. Um, I'm undecided if I'm gonna do the letters in spacebar yet. Let's see if I can get it to focus here and get my head out. You can kind of tell that the function keys, if you look through F1 through F4, they're a little wonky there, but I think I'll get used to it. Um, I don't have the calculator or volume buttons. Most keyboards don't have that, so they don't even make them in the ceramic, but that's okay. Um, I will say another complaint I have is enter kind of has a ping sound. Let me see if I can get it here. Hear that metallic sound? Metallic sound? You don't get that. These are ceramic. Here's the plastic. And here's that. Enter. It's worse on the shift. And then the space bar is horrible. Um, I, if I do change the letters over, I don't think I'll change the space bar over. The space bar is almost too heavy. You barely have to touch it. Whereas right now, <clears throat> you have to put a decent amount of force into my space bar. With the other one, it, um, <clears throat> it barely... It barely takes anything. And because of that, it barely travels. <clears throat> I am so sorry. These stupid allergies. But, um... I'm just not sure if I want to do the letters. 
they, they just feel so nice though they're nice and smooth another complaint um, missed opportunity here but I get why they did it the printing on the keys is not glazed in it's on the very top it's on the surface so I imagine it's not gonna last very long um, you can feel it just with your finger with your actual skin and it doesn't feel the greatest but if you lightly drag your fingernail across it, uh, it, it, yeah, I don't think it's going to last long. I could be wrong. It may be really good, but I'm pretty sure it's going to wear off. Because they sell the keys blank, too. Um, this is called Sarah Key. C-E-R-A-K-E-Y. It looks like they've moved to Indiegogo now to continue selling. Originally it was on Kickstarter. That's kind of weird. But I imagine Indiegogo just had better terms or whatever. Plus Indiegogo has seemed to seems to have shifted to uh, um, hey, we're an existing company. We want to launch our new thing. Come give us the money as a pre-order. So maybe that's why they did. But if you go to their website, um, one of the promo images or video clips or whatever is the black keys with no lettering and it just looks so cool but I love these these blue originally I had a much darker blue on here for some keys like enter and numlock and my controls escape I just had like the blue highlights on there and I really liked it with the gray but this baby blue I wish it was darker but uh, I kind of like it. Yeah, they're just so... I wish you guys could touch them. <laughs> they're just like I pet the tin key now since I put them on. I put these on last night. And then I just got tired of doing it and stopped. That's why there's not any more on. I'm thinking here. Um, so since I don't have the calculator or the three volume buttons... I think it kind of looks nice the way it is now because you've got the you know you just you have a little bit of diversity if these are the only things that aren't that baby blue like is it gonna look good I don't know I don't know but this was a, a nice little surprise yesterday when they finally showed up I, I knew they shipped a couple weeks ago but you know they send this stuff the slow boat from China because the project always ends up costing far more than they anticipated, and they're basically selling them to you at a, at a considerable loss. So <laughs> I didn't know when they would show up. And I had seen some kind of horror stories about them being wonky and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's annoying. But now that I get them and look at them, and they're just kind of sitting every which way, and it, this is kind of fun. We'll see. We'll see how I like it. So far, I haven't had any issues, but I haven't typed a whole lot, but yeah. Like, the enter key is like this. And it's just because those plunger, where the plungers go. Um, yeah. I also kind of worry that I might have destroyed the plungers. I don't know what the technical term is. I'm not that big of a keyboard nerd. But some of these, when you put them on, you definitely feel that the ceramic is, like, grating across the plastic plunger thing. So I wonder if I take them off, if my old keycaps will even go back on. But I have two of these keyboards, so not that big of a deal. It um, It's trivial for me to just make this one all ceramic and then use my other one if I don't like it. But yeah. Sorry, I just did, like, probably five minutes on my keyboard. It's just really cool. Um, I know a lot of you watching probably don't care, but sometimes you just need those small things in times like this. Um, I know I have a subscriber now that's coming in a couple of times that they are also unemployed and going through this slog. And if you're still watching at this point, um, hey, I hope we find something soon. And to anyone else you're going through this, uh, please comment. Not only because it feeds the algorithm, and I really need this channel to just magically blow up so I can make a little more money, but <laughs> uh, I, I genuinely just want to talk to people that are going through the same thing. And, you know, 
be there for each other. But yeah, I better I better wrap this up. So my weather thing says it's supposed to rain here in an hour. I don't see any clouds. It's still dark though. The sun's just now coming up. I really, really, really need to cut the grass. I have not cut the back except for the area right here behind this window. Um, in 10 days or something and it's rained a bunch in then and it's getting really tall and it's totally gonna choke the mower at this point and be super annoying. Like I'm probably gonna have to do two passes. I'm gonna have to raise the deck a bunch and then, yeah. But if it still rains a little more this morning, it's gonna take that grass so long to dry out today. Good news is Wednesday and Thursday look good. So maybe I just wait one more day. It'll probably be rest less aggravating because the mower is going to choke as it is. And if it's wet, it's just going to do it worse. So yeah. Anyway, this video is 11 minutes and change. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're still here, thank you. The uh, musings of a madman. Well, I best say yes, best. I can't talk this morning. Like I'm just so tired. <laughs> I guess I better go in there and get this up, lightly edit it, and then uh, hopefully there's some AI consulting to do today because money is nice, and I want to make as much as I can. Um, real quick, I looked, and yesterday, going back nine days, which was the current project window, I did 72 hours and change that I build. I'm, I'm really burning out, but... I gotta make that money while it's there to be made because who knows when I'm gonna find a real job and who knows how long this project's gonna last. Um, usually when it ends, they pop it right back with uh, slight variances or something. So hopefully that's there this morning. I haven't looked yet. Because uh, Ryan, Ryan needs income. Anyway, we're at 12 minutes now. So uh, I'll wrap it up. I'll see you guys tomorrow.